So let's get into it. Obviously, right up front, it's gonna be a manual jack. Not necessarily a bad thing. It's gonna lower your weight. You do have to do a little work. You can always swap that out. Have it ran to a 12 volt. Your battery's gonna be right up front too. Two propane tanks. Auto switch over could be added. It looks like that's a manual. Diamond plate on the front. So anything as far as road debris, things like that, it's gonna hit. Again, this is a pop-up hard liner. What they've chosen to do on this one though is use Asdell. So you don't have that wood in the wall that you normally would. A lot of engineering going on with a unit like this too. We do have storage back, front. It's not really a true pass-through on this particular floor plan. Pretty close. Good road clearance. You can see we have stabilizer jacks along the back. Full-size spare. Tinted windows, which is very nice to have an upgrade. Something like this. I'll help that AC. And yes, it has an AC. Keep up. So on our road side, fresh water connection, our gravity feed, hot water heater, coax connection. This one is a 30 amp for electric. A little bit of fender trim. This does come with a fridge, and that fridge does run on propane, so that those people that are looking to outland, this thing's awesome. It is strut assisted. It is not a motorized unit. With that strut assist, it takes care of most of it. The way it's engineered, too, you can kind of just lean in, I guess you could say. Um, we do have an outdoor shower. Looks like there's a ZAMP port. So those that want to increase your battery capacity and add a solar panel to this, you can do so with the briefcase style. Furnace out, and that is our low drain for the sink that's inside. All right. Now one thing this company does, I haven't seen before, is they list the tongue and the dry weight of the actual unit. So this unit not a generalized number but the exact unit okay before we get too far in i do want to point out that your ac with a heat pump control is right here at the front entrance nice grab handle unique one as well with it being clear doesn't really stick out like a sore thumb something a little different it's gonna be a foldable door for those that have been in a pop-up before and then one nice thing about an A-liner, you have a ton of headroom. So if you are taller and you don't want a lot of camper, but you won't be able to get out, it's an easy way to do so. So LXE, particular floor plan, will have a make down on this side. So all of this will become your sleeping area. You can tell how many windows and ceiling height is in here. We have an upgraded max air style fan that is on an electric knob. So mostly automated. You don't have to do a lot of click buttons. I closed off this curtain just to show you that those do close off. It's under tension to these clasps. And you can see how large that roadside window is going to be. We're going to close that back because big windows on a 99 degree day Ties are gonna roast. Fold down table. Our AC is underneath this side. Converter box. There is an additional 12 volt plug there as well. Our fridge is actually a pretty good size. I may have to do two hands since it was a little bit tight being there. Decent size. Most people would call this more of a cooler than a fridge. There is a top tray. Runs on gas or electric. Easy on and off. Not only does this have a two burner on the interior, so just a regular two burner, propane, two front tanks. You also have a separate grill that will quick connect outside. So you can use this indoor, well, really just outdoor. So you're going to need this vented. Microwave. There's our furnace below. 
Our hot water heater is electric. So keep that in mind. Sink. A lot of engineering again going on in this thing. So you can see all the additional springs to help you be able to put this up and down. And then this LXE does have a wet bath. So a commode with a shower curtain does make into a full usable shower setup. So no real reason to leave for a bathhouse unless you just feel like it. Gosh, the windows. That's the first time I saw these, that was the main thing I noticed. Really big windows. They're all where they can operate. You can get a pass through, vent, air, plus the actual vent at the top. So really LXE. And again, with that weight. I mean, look at that. It's less than 2,000 pounds. So if you're under 2,000 pounds towing, a ton of smaller SUVs, smaller trucks, even some cars are going to be able to tow this depending on what you're rated at. If you have your receiver in place, you got to have your receiver in place. You should be able to tow this guy. And she's pretty. And that makes down. So your profile is only going to be to about this area here. So it's going to hinge here. All this is going to come down. For those that have HOAs you have to worry about. You want a camper. You don't want to store it off site. You want to be able to camp like that. This could be a solution for you. Now for that engineering, don't expect to pay $10,000. Heads up. But it's a really, really good deal. So let me know what you think. Comment. Like. See you guys next time.